Good morning, everyone. I am Metropolitan Water Reclamation District of Greater Chicago Commissioner Shakina D. Perry. I'm so excited to be here today, you all, to celebrate this amazing day. I would like to first recognize our Executive Director, Brian Perkovich, who's right behind me. Let's give him a round of applause. In addition to that, I also want to give a shout out to our amazing president, Carrie K. Steele, who could not be here today, so that's why you all have me. So, let's get this started. Um, I would like to recognize our partners in Robbins. We are so thrilled to have U.S. Senator Dick Durbin with us today. Senator Durbin has supported the MWRD in so many ways over the years that we can't thank him enough. We will hear from Senator Durbin shortly. However, before we begin, let me also say hello and welcome Mary Thatcher from the Office of Congressman Bobby Rush, who couldn't make it here today. Mary, she's right here. Thank you for coming, Mary. And of course, you all know this guy, Mayor Darren E. Bryant. You know him. Now, we, we'll hear from him a little later today, um, but I would like to thank the mayor for his leadership, his vision, and his support for this project, as well as the Robbins Board of Trustees, including Trustee George Bruton, Trustee Michael Collier, Trustee David Dyson, Trustee Gregory N. Jackson, Trustee Ernest Maxey, Trustee Tiffany Robinson, Clerk Sharon S. Dyson, there we go. <laughs> Uh, Village Administrator Shantae Sykes, Legislative Assistant Ryan Buckley, Deputy Clerk Kaisha Hill, and Gerald Stewart from the Buildings Department. Let's give them a round of applause. All right. This project would not be possible without the support of our many partners. What started as a stormwater management project in 2014 to address flooding in Robbins has blossomed into a series of collaborations that have positive environmental, economic, and social ramifications. The stormwater park became a possibility after the MWRD began developing a plan to address flooding along Midlothian Creek. We realized this project could have been an even broader impact, so we knocked on doors to bring more collaborators to the table, and I'm so proud to say that many of those organizations delivered. Today, we would like to identify those critical supporters who have shown their commitment to this project. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Chicago District has delivered greatly the needed dollars through our partnership on the Thornton Composite Reservoir. Let's give Colonel Paul Culberson a round of applause. <laughs> the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation and our partners at OAI provided funding through the Chi Cal Rivers Fund grant funding. Through its Section 319 Clean Water Act, grant to help mitigate local flooding, improve local water quality in the region, and restore Mithlothian Creek and the Little Calumet River watershed, the Illinois Environmental Protection Agency has also been greatly supportive. I would also like to recognize our Cook County Board leadership and their support to facilitate Community Development Block Grant Disaster Recovery Funding through the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. There's a lot of partners with this, you all. This is a good thing. The Chicago Metropolitan Agency for Planning, or better known as CMAP, also contributed to this project by selecting Robbins in 2017 to receive planning support through the agency's local technical assistance program to assist the community through increased livability, sustainability, and econom economic vitality. That has led to additional engagement from the Regional Transportation Authority, Metra, and Robbins, sparking new discussions on residential and transit-oriented development near the Metra station on 139th Street, as well as new uses, uses in an industrial district near the river. In addition, the Chicago Community Trust also found this project deserving of its support, delivering resources to engage with the community on how to create a new Robbins Park that provide recreation as well as offer tools to combat flooding. 
This Chicago Community Trust Grant brought in the support of the University of Illinois at Chicago College of Urban Planning and Public Affairs, providing Robbins residents, planners, and engineers a forum to describe what they envision for their community. The Robbins Master Plan, developed by Donahue and Associates in Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill, was so well received that the American Planning Association's Illinois chapter selected it to receive a coveted strategic plan award. We thank our design engineering consultants for this vision and our contractors from FH Passion working to complete this critical project. And last but not least, we have to thank our engineering department who have poured an endless amount of time, talent over the past dec decade to arrive to this exact moment. But we are not done yet. As we break ground today, chances are more partners will step forward and say, I want to be a part of history today. And more opportunities will continue to unfold. But as we stand here today, this shows that a foundation of a model project, a prototype for the potential of collaboration and engagement, and what can happen when we address storm water management and how it can impact many areas in our communities. The Robbins Stormwater Park in Midlothian Creek restoration, restoration will increase the existing stormwater drainage system from less than a five-year storm level of protection to a 100-year level of service. As a result, the project will provide flood relief for 140 acres and 92 structures. The project will also bring about increased awareness for the watershed, provide critical drainage for an area with no existing stormwater infrastructure, promote green infrastructure and maintenance, improve local water quality, and attract further housing, transportation, recreation, and economic development opportunities. So, as we face a new dawn of rainfall, flooding and climate change, aging infrastructure, water quality issues, and other environmental challenges, it is with us that we can create these opportunities to make the most of our water resources and turn those challenges into success. So it gives me great pleasure to welcome our greatest supporter, U.S. Senator Dick Durbin. Welcome, Senator. She covered it all. And it, as she introduced me, I remember being at a school in Chicago, and there was a summer lunch program for kids. And you know, kids during the school year get school lunch, and they wanted to make sure they got something to eat in the summer. And so we had some television cameras, and we were trying to talk it up. And I was there, and I looked out in the audience, and there was a table of kids eating, and they were about second and third graders, cutest kids on earth. And I thought, if I go sit down over there, that's going to be on the news tonight. So I sat down next to those kids, and all the television cameras came following me, and one little girl said to me, who are you? <laughs> and I said, I'm Dick Durbin. And she said, what do you do? And I said, I'm a United States Senator. And she said, well, good for you. <laughs> Occasionally, as a United States Senator, you have power to get some things done. I didn't have any power to do anything about the train that blocked the street in Blue Island on the way over here, and that's why I was late. Does that sound familiar? Anybody else ever had that happen? Yeah, okay. But I am glad to tell you that working as a team in Washington with Tammy Duckworth, the other state sent U.S. Senator, Bobby Rush, and the whole delegation, our job is to bring your money back home. You pay taxes, I pay taxes, heads out to Washington, we wonder if we'll ever see it again. Well, here's some money coming back home. $12 million, part of this project. And as Commissioner Perry explained to you, you know, this is going to change things. We, we tell you, most importantly, it's going to be flood protection. My friend, Colonel Culbertson, thank you for being here and thank you for serving our nation. He can tell you that we are trying to build protection so that people don't get their homes and businesses flooded, you know? And that's a story some of you are familiar with in this neighborhood. And the pro problem we're running into is we say, well, we just have five-year protection. We need 100-year protection. But as Commissioner Perry said, with climate change, we don't even know if it's 50 years or 20 years. But we know we need to do something. 
And that's what we're doing now with the help of Metropolitan Water and Reclamation District. They don't get the credit they deserve. The federal money comes in there and they try to protect our homes and businesses from flooding. And that's why this investment's being made. And thank goodness it's being made in Robbins. Isn't it about time? You know, Robbins is a struggle. There's no question about it. As long as I've been involved in politics and government with Paul Simon and going back and forth, I, I know the struggle that, that's going on. But people don't give up. People in Robbins don't give up. They keep fighting for their community and fighting for their families and their neighborhoods, and I want to be part of that fight. And the man who's leading that fight right here in Robbins, I want to introduce to you. You already know him, Mayor Darren Bryan. Darren? Time. It's been a long time coming. Uh, first, give it honor to God, um, who's the head of my life. That means he leads this village. Uh, he leads this village. Honor to all the distinguished officials that's here today uh, to celebrate this moment with us. And honor to the residents that's here to celebrate this moment of this great town. What a, what a joyous day. What a joyous day in the village of Robbins. A historic day a beneficial day as hundreds of Robbins homeowners get relief from paying flood insurance, as the flood plain and Robbins get dissolved for the next hundred years, as green infrastructure gets created to help spur economic and recreational development. But a day of this magnitude doesn't happen overnight. In fact, this has been over a decade process from the vision of reducing the flood plain to the actual product, which is why I must be a little redundant but as the mayor, I must say thank you again to these individuals. Thank you to the leadership of President Kerry Steele, the Board of Commissioners, and the staff of MWRD. This institution led the way in the development of this project, and I just want to have a couple special shout outs. Uh, shout out to Dylan Cooney. Give her a round of applause, Dylan Cooney. Rich Fisher. Attorney Daly is here, <laughs> and JJ. Man, you guys are awesome. Uh, I definitely enjoyed the meetings. <laughs> Next, thank you to many partners that joined this endeavor to make this project innovative. And I'm going to name them all again. CMAP, Cook County. U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, National Fish and Wildlife, OAI, IEPA, U.S. Department of Housing, Chicago Community Trust, and to the awardee, President Jim Blair and FHP. This is big, 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 and we appreciate you. And finally, thank you to the community, to the Council Board of Trustees for voting for this project, to the clerk, to Rain Ready. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Who's been part of this process since the beginning. And to the mayors that came before me. It didn't start with Mayor Bryant, it finished with me, but it started with several mayors. And I want to acknowledge them today, Mayor Brody and Mayor Ward. <laughs> Things like this take time. Things like this take time. But what a day. What a day. And I just want to take a time for all of us to give ourselves a round of applause. A lot of clapping. Robbins has a future coming. Though we still have a long way to go, this piece will be a critical component for our forward motion. As the flood on the Kesey now being resolved, we will shift our attention to other pertinent matters. But if we came together once, we can come together again for the benefit of Robbins, the region, the county, and the state. Thank you, and God bless you all. All right, thank you so much, Mayor Bryant. Um, in addition, 
Cook County Board President Tony Preckwinkle sends her regards as she had a conflict, but in her place, I would like to welcome Dominic Tassi, Deputy Bureau Chief, Cook County Bureau of Economic Development. Welcome, Dominic. Don't touch. Good, mor good morning, everyone. Uh, Dominic Tassi, the Deputy Bureau Chief in the County's Bureau of Economic Development. And on behalf of Cook County Board President Tony Preckwinkle and the entire Cook County Board of Commissioners, in particular Commissioner Deborah Sims, uh, I'm thrilled to be here with you today on the groundbreaking for this exciting project. As you've heard, this project idea goes back a long way. Uh, I've been along for most of that ride. I'm so excited to see the Rain Ready folks here. The county supported the Rain Ready planning effort many years ago, and a lot of those ideas flowed into this project, uh, no pun intended. Um, <laughs> but I'm excited to, to see it through, and the fact that we're here today is really a testament to the persistence of all the partners you've heard about uh, in, in getting this project moving forward. I really want to recognize in particular the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District for bringing creative thinking as we were thinking, you know, as solutions were being assessed for this project, uh, and to the Village of Robbins as well. You know, it really could have just been a, a reservoir behind a fence that took care of the stormwater and flooding, but you know, thinking out of the box, delivering a solution that addresses the stormwater management and flooding issues, but also creates an amenity and opportunities for the community is really what it's all about. So kudos to MWRD and the village and, and all the partners for you know doing something a little different. Um, you know, I'm proud of the financial commitment that the county has made to this project, as you've heard about, uh, courtesy of our Community Development Block Grant Disaster Recovery Funding, which comes from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. Uh, but really, this, this is more a story of the collaboration you've heard about, and even within the county, in addition to the, the work of the county and the Bureau of Economic Development, the Housing Authority of Cook County and the Cook County Land Bank Authority were also really key partners on this project, so I want to recognize their roles. So again, we're just happy to be participating in this project, uh, one that really advances the county's goals of creating thriving, sustainable, and resilient communities. Thank you. With us from OAI is Danielle Gallet, founding principal and water strategist. Welcome, Danielle. Hello, everyone. It's great to be here with all of you. As the commissioner said, my name is Danielle Gallet, and I am representing OAI here today. OAI is a Chicago based nonprofit workforce development organization. Our mission is to provide skills training that leads to safe, meaningful employment while helping communities and companies to thrive. Our vision is for everyone to reach their career potential, work safely, and build a good life. OAI's Environmental Careers Worker Training Program offers hands-on entry-level preparation for careers in environmental remediation, construction, hazardous waste handling, solar installation, restoration, and related industries. Our South Suburban programs include healthcare, transportation, distribution, and logistics and manufacturing. Additionally, OAI's High Bridge Department collaborates with communities and contractors to provide installation and maintenance of green stormwater infrastructure to help manage stormwater, reduce urban flooding, and provide other community benefits. This Robbins Stormwater Park project represents a unique and exciting partnership between the Village of Robbins, the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District of Greater Chicago, and OAI, and all of the many partners that you've heard listed here today. Very exciting. And through a grant from the National Fish and Wildlife Federation's Shy Cal Rivers Fund, OAI is pleased to be the green stormwater infrastructure installation partner on this project. This flood control project is intended to have a park-like aesthetic, so the area will be an amenity for the community 
while also at the same time reducing flooding and providing economic development opportunities. In addition to green stormwater infrastructure installation, OAI will also provide training and workforce development in the field of native planting, installation, and maintenance by facilitating a training session for village staff, local workers, and volunteers. OAI is committed to fostering community partnerships, providing workforce development opportunities, and improving life for all residents. This initiative represents what is possible when agencies collaborate together, work with communities, and leverage multiple funding sources. OAI is proud to be a partner on this project. Thank you. All right, how's everyone feeling? I'm just checking in. We feeling good? All right, well, I'm a gratitude person, so I can say thank you to people all day, but I know that's not what we're here for today. So uh, we've said our thank yous, we've done our round of applauses. Y'all ready to break some ground? Yeah. Let's get some ground, all right. This is a moment we've been waiting for. Let's walk over to our beautiful site right here and let's make it happen. Thank you all so much.